हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी शाफ्ट इन सीरीज वट यू मीन बाई शाफ्ट इन सीरीज दैट देर आर डिफरेंट डायमीटर शाफ्ट लाइक दिस दिस इज अ डिफरेंट डायमीटर डिफरेंट क्रोस सेक्शन एरिया एंड दिस इज अनादर शाफ्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट डायमीटर एंड देर इज अ टॉर्क अप्लाइड at one end suppose t and we want to find out the angle of twist our aim is aim aim is to find out the angle of twist of this shaft right and uh, the shafts may be having different lengths so the length of this shaft is suppose l1 length of this shaft is l2 it is having certain different diameter due to which it has different polar moment of inertia suppose uh, this is 1 this is 2 so this is polar moment of inertia of 2 this shaft will be having a different suppose different material and different material so it may be having a different modulus of rigidity it may also be having a different modulus of rigidity right so we have to find out what is the total angle of twist total angle of twist of this shaft when we are applying a torque here as we already discussed that whenever you want to find out some calculation in this chapter in this chapter you want to do some calculation it is always better to have a analogous condition with the direct stresses when we are applying the force directly right tensile or compressive right so you can imagine you can im imagine a condition where there are variable diameter shafts like this we have already done this type of topic and apply a force p in this shaft suppose this is our 1 this is 2 and we have to find out the total deformation in the bar total extension of the bar right so a total extension will be equal to extension in 1 plus extension in 2 so we have applied the principle of superposition right total deformation will be deformation of this plus deformation this keeping that the force on this and this will be same force on this and this will be same so uh, if we see it you will get this type of condition that the load on this will be p because these are in series and load on this will also be p because these are these are in series and you will find out delta l total extension due to this and total extension due to this right so total extension would have been equal to p l upon a e plus p l upon a e of the second shaft and of the first shaft right so this was the total elongation of the entire bar right similarly here similarly here we have found out in our formula that the angle of twist is given by angle of twist is given by tl upon gj you have to remember this formula this is the basic formula of angle of twist tl upon gj like this pl upon a similar to pl upon a the formula is tl upon gj so the total angle of twist will be angle of twist due to this and angle of twist due to this so total angle of twist will be equal to angle of twist in 1 plus angle of twist in 2 so this will give the total angle of twist of this bar so you can break this bar into two parts you can break this bar into two parts like this this is one part and another is this part this is 1 and this is 2 right uh, this is this has same dimensions but i have made smaller smaller due to uh, area constraints constraints so we have applied a torque t here here it is clockwise torque clockwise torque when seeing here and there will be a, uh, like this if this is rightward there is leftward if it is clockwise here it will be negative anti clockwise because the body in static equilibrium because here it is clockwise there must be clockwise 
so that there should not be any torque here at this point right and there must be an anti clockwise torque here right so these are the torques on this part so torque is same in both the part and other things may be different l g j may be different right so what will be the total torque in this part so theta will be equal to total torque total twist angle of twist of this part will be of the entire bar uh, shaft will be what will be the t l upon g j of the first part first part of the uh, shaft plus t l upon g j of the second part of the shaft and this will be the total angle of twist of the entire shaft so this is how the questions of uh, shafts in series will be solved uh, when later on we will solve the numerical on this so you have to apply this way of solving the shafts in series right tl upon gj tl upon gj but here but here we are taking this force tensile generally tensile we are taking positive and compressive we are taking negative while doing the calculation because there may be another torques also right there are some clockwise torques there may be inside some anti clockwise torques so you have to take some sign convention for this like for direct forces we have used a sign convention that if the force is tensile then it is a positive force because it is increasing the length of the body and if the force is compressive it is uh, decreasing the length and it is negative right so for calculation uh, for total deformation we found that when the force is uh, tensile we add up the deformation and we take the deformation positive and the, when the force is uh, compressive we subtract the deformation right so we take minus of that right so similarly here we have to use some sign convention for this right so what type of sign convention we will be using sign convention what sign convention we will be using for positive torque and negative torque so that angle of twist can be obtained right so if this is a shaft suppose this is a shaft and we are taking we are taking here it is clockwise torque suppose the torque is clockwise if the torque is clockwise and it is fixed at one point so you can imagine that there is a nut nut tightening there is a nut which is tightening and it will be entering into the system entering into the shaft if there is a thread in this and we tighten the nut this will be a it will uh, go inside go inside the shaft so it is a case of nut tightening this is a case of is similar to nut tightening and this will be taken as positive positive torque so this will be taken as positive torque for us this will be a positive torque and because there is a clockwise torque at this end there will be anti clockwise torque so this is similar to this is similar to this condition this is similar to this condition there is no difference in these two conditions when here it is clockwise and at the other end it will be anti clockwise because it is obvious that there should be anti clockwise because the body is in static equilibrium so this is same thing and this is a positive torque right tightening the nut when looking from the this side from looking from the this side right so tightening the nut so this will be taken as positive now imagine the another condition where <coughs> the torque is anti clockwise at this end torque is anti clockwise at this end it means that nut is inside and we are opening the nuts anti clockwise movement of the nut so nut opening is there i am writing here nut opening nut is opening and going outside right so this condition of the torque will be taken as negative torque we will take it in negative torque right so the displacement angle of twist angle of twist for this will be taken as negative right when we when we found out theta so it will be 
negative theta and theta for this will be a positive theta right so we have to take the algebraic sum principle of superposition right so this is a nut opening case and this is similar to this condition this is similar to this condition like this that the torque is applied at this end anti clockwise so there will be a clockwise torque on this part because the body is in static equilibrium so this is again the same thing negative torque these two things are same similar and these two things are same just uh, this is a way of showing that there is a fixed body and there will be a reactionary torque same thing are there right so this is how we analyze the angle of twist for the shaft in series